Well, no, I don't think we're out of luck. But we have combustion engines. That's why you need to go electric. <laughs> Taking with me two boards, all the kit necessary for all the options up on the slope. Split board, Scottish snowboard, so that one takes all the scratches. We were meant to be waiting on them, but it seems like we've turned the turned tables and we're now waiting on us. Snow looking pretty thin. We'll have to see when we get closer up the hill. See if we can find some snow. We're gonna walk up. Guys, guys, use the ski lift. The last time I was here, I skinned up this very point. But I'm gonna have to look like I'm gonna have to walk all the way up to the mid station. The last time I did this, it was actually quite full of snow, though quite crusty and hard on top. I think I've got less snow and still crusty and hard. It's all been quite good, actually. It's not just the uh, uphill, it's down here. Windy. Yeah, the wind was bad. Not too bad, at least. But the, uh, yeah, not as fine as you want. Yeah, free time. Wait. <laughs> Okay, so we're now on day two. We're going to head back up the Kengal Mountain, see the uplift event, which is a split boarding event, see what they're on about. Then we're going to come back down and head off to Nevis and see what they have. I don't know if you can see my short hair, but it's really, really, really weird. It's a bit faster. So we're going to do a little check. Oh, if we're going to go faster. Yeah. Okay, why don't we do that then? So we have evaluated the situation. There is this looking pretty bad at the moment. It's very, very windy outside, but also I expect it's actually shoveling snow on a run here in Kangol Mountain. And so we're going to go to Fort William, assess the situation as we pass to go on to Glencoe. Glencoe is open, but we thought we'd check in on Fort William. Fort Well, we've just found out that the lift is actually shut. Even though it's running, it's shut. So we can't even get up the mountain to scoot across. 
So that's a pity. We might just have to get our hiking boots out or go and visit the local Ellis Cream to buy some end of season skins and boots for Vida here. <laughs> just thought I'd get a B-roll of the Nevis lifts and the last one has just gone in there and parked itself up. So there's actually no lifts on the line at the moment. It's a lovely day here, it's about 13 degrees. It'd be an absolutely brilliant day for a bike ride. There's a few bike riders around here already and the sun is shining, almost blue sky. What's really surprising, there's no wind down here, but if we look around and look up the mountain, it is getting blown off the top of that ridge. We've got a south east, that's their, that's their wind that worked. So we're doing a quick evaluation of Glencoe Resort to see if it's just as windy. And Phil is trying to make the best out of a bad job. I keep looking at his phone. <laughs> and we get early pints in the sunshine. <laughs> and sleeping at eight o'clock. And we actually get to the restaurant that we've never been in. Yes. In Black Arbor, right? Exactly. And we, and we have no issues around okay, drinking. Guess what? Sounds like we're going to Fort William. So let's have, so, a, let's have a wander. So it sounds like a quick walk and shopper therapy. Yeah. Through a whole new uh, Go and see Simon. ski set. just back from our therapeutic 5.2k walk and it's really really warm and the car is reading 24 degrees I know it's black car sitting in the sun but still not the kind of weather I expect this kind of year Day three, and we're going from Fort William now. We've had a brilliant night last night, Rakar Brewery, pizzas, a bit too much beer. And now we're going to head to Glencoe. Hopefully, the wind will die down some more. We can see it blowing off the top of the hills here. So that's where we'll see you next, Glencoe. Here look really really good we're gonna have a good time i think but it's still a bit windy but all the other places are shut confirmed but the lift is running here and there's a lot more people here than expected so i think everybody's come here from everywhere else 